Believe it or not, these jewelry boxes were made from firewood. Ordinary firewood like this can yield some extraordinary boards for small projects. The best part is it's completely free. Making your own lumber is surprisingly simple. All you need is a bandsaw and a power plane. In this video, I'll show you how to quickly turn a fireplace log into beautiful lumber. It's best to use fresh cut logs before ends develop cracks, also called checks. If your log has some minor end checks, cut the ends off an inch at a time until the checks are gone. The goal is to create a rough square from the log. The first step is to create a flat edge on the log. You never want to cut that flat on the bandsaw because the blade can violently grab the round log and causing it to roll and bind the blade and possibly break it and you could even crush a finger. I use a handheld power plane to create a flat edge on the log. Secure the log on your bench, set the planer for a deep cut and create the flat. Don't worry if your edges aren't perfectly square or flat. We're rough cutting green lumber so there's no need to be too fussy as the wood will change shape as it dries anyhow. Flip the log over and check that the log sits on the flat without too much rocking. With the flat cut, we can square a couple lines for a side cut. Use a square to lay out the cut on both ends of the log. Next, we'll snap a line to connect the two ends on the top of the log. Take the log to the saw and cut along the chalk line. With two relatively square edges, we can finish squaring the log using the fence. Decide how thick you want your finished stock and add some extra for shrinkage and warp. I usually add an eighth to a quarter inch. Set your fence to the desired thickness and make your cuts. Your fresh cut wood needs to dry. The key is to let air circulate around all four surfaces of the boards, and that's as simple as stacking the wood with spacers, also called stickers, so air can flow through the stack. A little weight on top will help keep the boards flat as they dry. Small boards like these will dry quickly. Expect anywhere from a week to a couple of months depending on drying conditions. Use a moisture meter to test dryness. Shoot for a moisture content of 8 to 10 percent before using your new lumber. And if you don't have a moisture meter and are serious about woodworking, you can buy one for about 75 bucks. You'll be amazed at the beautiful wood you can rescue from your own fireplace. <laughs>